68 trying to bounce on that red charging station. Looks like 76-17 goes for that middle cone, rounding off the autonomous period. Teams are now going for those game pieces to try and score on their grids over for their respective alliance. It looks like 44-85 is going for a middle rung for their cone. And over on the red alliance, we have Cranberry and Lime going for that cube for the lower level. Over the red alliance, we have three game pieces scored on the grids. And on the blue alliance, we have six on the field. The match right now is 42 to 27 with 97 seconds left. Teams have plenty of time to try and fill up those grids as much as possible and maybe even get some of those links for extra ranking points. Over on the blue lines, we have 76 57 going for that cone, making way across the field to try and score on their grid. And it looks like Cranberry Alarm is also going for a cube scoring on their grid. Just a reminder to the audience the bottom level scores teams two points. The middle scores three, and the top scores five points for the Alliance. We have a one minute left in the match. It's 52 to 31. Looks like 4485 is going for picking up another game piece for their Alliance to score on their grids. And so is Cranberry Alarm from their human player station. There are 30 seconds left in the match, which means teams may engage in their in-game activities, which includes bouncing on those charge stations. Looks like 44-85 is going for that bounce for the Blue Alliance, and 76-17 is going for that bounce for the Red Alliance charging station. It looks like over on the Red Alliance, 868 is trying to join them. There's three, two, one. Let's take a look at the results. Congratulations to the Blue Alliance for winning qualification match number six with a score of 102 to 72. That earned the Blue Alliance three ranking points.